Hey everyone, my name is Abhishek and today we are going to create this 3D rotating text reveal animation in After Effects without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. So let's go to composition and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080 framed at 30 fps and duration you can go with whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create another composition. So let's call this character and the width and height will be 250 by 250 framed at 30 fps and duration you can pick whatever you want. After that just click on OK. So in this comp we are going to type our text but we will do it character by character. So for that let's select the text tool and we are going to just click and you can type whatever you want. Just for the sake I am going to type A and after that let's align it to the center of this comp and make sure that its anchor point is in the center. So for that you can select the layer, hold down the control key and then just double click on this pan anchor tool. Now we can select the layer, press S and let's scale this up something like this. After that let's create a new solid. So for that right click new solid. Just make sure that it's black color. After that just click OK. And let's place the solid behind our text. Now we can go back to the main comp. And let's quickly drag our character. So first I'm going to create a solid so we can see what we are doing. And let's make this red. Just for now. And let's place it below. So now we can make this 3D. So let's select this and let's turn this to 3D. After that I'm going to just create a quick camera so that we can preview what we are doing. And now let's change this to left and over here you can see we have our character. Now we are going to duplicate it but first I am going to just simply move it. So let's press P for position and I am going to move it to the Z space and we are going to move it to the forward. So this will be negative. So I am going to just simply type negative 250 divided by 2. Now you will be asking why 250 because the length of our character is 250 pixel which we defined inside this composition. So now let's go back and I'm going to just simply select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Now you can press R to rotate it. Let's rotate this something like this. Let's set this to negative 90 and also let's press P for position and we're going to set this to 0. And we want this to go up so I'm going to just simply subtract 250 divided by 2 so now you can see we have the text on top now we can go back to the main camera and let's select the camera tool and if I rotate you can see we have the characters at an angle so now let's select this and press ctrl D to duplicate it and let's press P so I'm going to just simply set this to 125 because 250 divided by 2 is 125 now we can select this, press R or you can right click, go to transform and let's flip it vertically. We can select this text, press Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's press P. So in this one we are going to just simply add 250. Now we are going to flip this as well, so right click, transform, flip vertically. So you can see the starting of this A is at the bottom of this one and it's starting is at this bottom and in the same way we have this continuous loop so now we can create a new null object so right click let's create a new null now we can select all of these character layers and let's parent it to the null let's select the null and make it 3d as well now we can probably select the camera and press delete now we can select the null and if you press r you can see that you can rotate it however you want so for this example, I'm going to just rotate it along the X axis. So let's create a keyframe and let's move to somewhere around two seconds. And I'm going to set the rotation value to two. Now you can select the keyframes, press F9 or you can right click, go to keyframe assistant, easy ease. After that, just click over here to go to the graph editor. And if your graph looks different, then make sure that you are in the edit speed graph. Now you can select the graph and just make sure that it looks something like this. So now if I play back here you can see we have this sort of look. And if you think that it's too fast then you can just simply select this and just move it a little bit ahead. Somewhere around two and a half second or three seconds maybe. And last step is to change the color of the alternative text. And for that I'm going to just search for invert and let's drag it onto the 
first comp which is the bottom one and let's drag it on to the second comp which is this top one so now if i play back here you can see we have changed the color of the alternative text now we can press a and press u to collapse all the layers now let's enable the motion blur for all of these and let's go inside it and let's enable motion blur here as well so that we have this really nice motion blur so now we can select all the layers and we can right click and let's go to pre-compose and i'm going to type letter since our character is moving from top to bottom so i'm going to type tb for top to bottom just click on ok now we can go inside this comp and we can just probably trim the comp because we don't need this much so let me just enable the transparency and let's go to composition composition settings and after that just play around with the width and height we are not wasting much of a space so i think this is looking fine just click on ok so you can play to see that all the text is within this comp now let's go back to the main and we have our first letter now since this is going from top to bottom we also need one which is going from bottom to top for that we are going to just select the letter and press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's go inside the projects panel and i'm going to press ctrl d and duplicate this as well and i'm going to just quickly rename this to bt for bottom to top and now i'm going to select this and hold the alt key and then drag on to this composition so that it will replace it now we can go inside it and let's select the null press u and over here all we have to do is just simply change the value so instead of 2 i'm going to set this to negative 2 so now you can see that it is going from bottom to top again i'm going to select this character and press ctrl d to duplicate it and then select all of these characters and then hold down the alt key and let's replace it with this character now we can go inside it and you can just probably type whatever you want so if i go back you can see that we have this comp and if i move it somewhere around here you can see we have different comps with different characters so you can see that both of these are moving in opposite direction but their color is same so if you want to change the color of this one all you have to do is just simply insert the invert onto this so now you can see we have the different colors and this is how you can create these letters and after that you can combine it to create your text so let's do that so first i'm going to go inside this comp and i'm going to type m because i'm going to type motion and let's go back to this comp and i'm going to just simply place it somewhere around here now let's select this and let's go inside this and we can type o and let's go back now i'm going to select p for position let's copy this position and let's paste it onto this after that i'm going to press p as well and you can see that we can move the layer over here and all we have to do is just simply add 250 to this so that both the text are right next to each other we are also going to enable the collapse transformation something like this so there you go now we have this 3d text now let's add more characters so next character is t but before that i'm going to just quickly change their color so let's make this pink and let's make this blue so that we can easily identify these layers so the t is going to be in black color so i'm going to just simply select this m comp and press ctrl d and let's place it on top of this after that we can select the tb comp which is this one and press ctrl d and then hold on the alt key and drag it onto this now we can go inside and again we have to replace the character so select this press ctrl d and let's replace the character we can go inside let's type t and if i go back you can see we have the t again let's press p and on this one i'm going to add 500 because 250 for this one and 250 for this position and let's make them 3d as well now let's select all of these press u and let's type other character let's type i so i is going to be white so let's select this press ctrl d and let's place it on top of it let's select the bt comp and let's press ctrl d over here as well and you can hold on the alt key and just drag it onto this let's go inside select the character press ctrl d select these and just hold on the alt key and replace them as well 
and then you can change the text now you can see we have this again let's press p and simply add 500 to this as well now in the same way you can add the other characters as well so now i have created all the characters and you can see that sometimes some characters will overlap others so for that you have to just simply place them so that none of the character is overlapping so let me just quickly place it below this and after that we have this one and let's place it below this and at last we can select this and let's place it something like this now the last step is to just simply select all of these and let's press s for scale and let's add a keyframe for scale animation and let's zoom in let's move the keyframes to somewhere around here and after that we can set the scale to zero let's select all the keyframes press f9 to ease them let's go to the graph and let's change it to something like this and let's move it to something like that so now our last step is to offset them for that let's select the layers and first we want the m so it's this one after that we want the o so i'm going to just quickly zoom in and let's move it by five frames and after that we want the next layer which is this t so let's move it by five frames and then this one just keep on doing this so now if i play back you can see we have this sort of look and let me just quickly create a null object and let's place it on top of this and after that we can select all these layers and let me just quickly move them to the center using the arrow keys something like this now we can select this and parent it to the null we can select the null and make it 3d as well now we can add some scaling animation to this so let's press p and in the beginning let's add a keyframe and let's move it somewhere around here and let's place it somewhere around this so you can just simply move it along the z space something like this so let's move it select all the keyframes press f9 and then just simply play around with the graph something like that we can move the keyframe closer and now if i play back here you can see we have this subtle scaling animation in the beginning now we can select all of these layers and right click pre-compose and let's call this animation now we can select the base layer and let's apply fill to this and let's change its color to white or maybe a little bit offset color something like this now we can select this layer press ctrl d to duplicate it and let's make this 3d and let's press r to rotate it and just rotate it along the x-axis by something like 90 degree after that you can just place it below just like this let's apply fill to this and change the color to black after that just apply gaussian blur and we're going to just increase its value to quite a bit something like this let's select this press t for opacity and now you can lower it down so you can see that we have this really nice 3d shadow so now if i play back here you can see we have created this sort of look and this is how you can create these kind of text animation now if you want to change the character all we, all you have to do is just go inside the comp and just pick whatever character you want and after that you can just simply type it over here and it will be updated so this is how you can create these kind of animations and i hope you learned something from this video the tutorial project files for this are available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon if you have any queries or questions then you can ask in the comments below so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one